Hi, I just ate a grape. I should have waited. Before the video begins, I just wanted to let you guys know that in my shop, Catherine Garstead shop, I have some new products. I have some new bookmarks. Very exciting. Very cute. I really like how I really like them. Perfect for fantasy books. Perfect for the dark academia vibe. But also, something very exciting, I have new products which are large prints. This is so exciting. This is something that I wanted to do since I opened my shop and I finally got to do it and I'm just so excited. So please check them out. I did two of my favorite photos, uh, Duck and Lavender Moon. These are 11 by 17 inches. They are a large print. They are signed and they are all numbered on the back by the batch. So this first batch is very limited, only 10, um, but I already have plans for new photos towards the end of the month. I'm just so happy with how they turned out and it's something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. So please check them out. Catherine Gares at shop. Thank you guys so much as always for all your support. It means the world to me. Like, it, like it's crazy. Thank you so much. rocky from this angle <laughs> hi welcome so today i think this is going to be a reading vlog um it's going to be a book focused vlog i'm going to go to a bookstore later today in a little bit in about an hour honestly i woke up really early um uh, because my semi schedule has been all over the place and mostly because i've been addicted to doing this puzzle i used to hate puzzles but whenever my mom was here like last year I remember I think I gave her a puzzle or my sister got her a puzzle and I basically just did the puzzle instead of her we she, we sat down and we, I was like oh maybe I'll help her look for the edges you know like I'm an edges kind of gal and then I ended up doing the whole entire puzzle thanks mom and so I was addicted to doing puzzles for a bit there and then my mom left and I felt sad um, doing puzzle without her even though she wasn't really doing them with me she would just watch me do them so Anyways, I got a puzzle for my birthday, a Tudor puzzle, a thousand pieces. I've only done 500 pieces puzzles and I did it. Um, today is February 3rd, so I started on my birthday. Actually, I thought it was today. Today was the 4th, but it's not. I started on my birthday on the 31st and then I finished it last night on the 2nd. Oh, wait, that took me three days. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I really messed up my sleepy schedule because of that puzzle because I just couldn't stop and I was just listening to audiobooks like straight through them. Is this too dark? Is that better? Okay, enough talk about puzzle. Right, audiobooks, just some romance fantasies, nothing amazing but like good for what they were. I finished yesterday, I finished something in bone. I honestly don't remember what they are even called. So I listened to Ivy and Bone yes, uh, on the 1st. I finished it on the 1st. Taken by Fate. I finished that one yesterday. And it was, it was okay for what it was. I enjoyed it. A lot of flaws, but what did I expect? You know, not much. So it was, it was a fun time. It's a romance fantasy about... This world where the veil has fallen. It's like the modern world, but then they like never talk about modern world stuff except like a mention of the Hunger Games at some point. And I'm like, what? That could have done so, you know, you could have explored a lot with that. That would have been fun and made it a more interesting world, but whatever. 
again, not taking it too seriously. The, the veil has fallen and the magical beings of the world kind of have like a human trade, a human slave trade. So our main character like gets caught so that she can go and be taken by the werewolves so she can save her um, basically brother, which we like never get any kind of connection to this brother. So we're not like rooting for her to get to her brother at all. But instead she gets sold off to the vampires instead of the werewolves. And so then she she kind of goes to the vampires for this like vampire Hunger Games thing. Romance fantasy, you know how it is, okay? <laughs> and then I reread The Cursed Crown by May Sage and Alexi Blake. This book I read last year and I just thought, I was like, this book is so short, but it's so fun to me. It was just, it's such a fun time to read. There are some problems. I wish it was longer, but the world, it's like very like fey fairy, like evil fairy, sealy gun and sealy cords. Not that evil, but like, you know, it just has the like world that I want to read. Okay. This is like going to be a bold clip because I know a lot of people love this book, but it's like an adult Holly Black vibe. Don't take that too literally because I know a lot of people love Holly Black a lot. Um, but I really enjoy that the main character is like over 100 years old. Like our female main character is over 100 years old. Like, I love that. Because a lot of the times in these fairy books, the female main character is like two years old. Like, come on. Anyways, um, that's what I've been reading recently. And every time, and towards the end of January, or at least the second half of January, I was like, so unsettled every time i'd finish a book i'd be like i don't know what to read next unsettled me so much give me anxiety so i i need to figure that out for february in my head like the goal for february is to take it slower and read longer books but as of right now i've changed my mood a little bit i'm very much a mood reader mood reader through and through it's painful at times most of the time all the time mm. i feel like i wouldn't say that i'm in a reading slump but i am having a hard time not necessarily sh like getting into a book but just starting at all is my problem so i just think that maybe organizing will help a little bit i've been very anti-tbr for many years now but maybe i need it need to evolve it to suit me in a way like have a broader list no, I mean, I have more of an organized list um, so that I can better choose according to my mood. I think that's what I need. And I also want to better organize the books that I'm buying because I have kind of been buying books that I don't need um, or I'm not like gonna read soon. So I want to go to a bookstore later and look and see, see what books that I'm always like, oh, I want to read that, but then I never write it down to, re to read that. So I just want some reading inspiration, a good bookstore trip always serves the vibes. So that's the plan. It's super cold today though. So I've um, layered up, oh, just showing you my bare chest. No, um, <laughs> my thick undershirt and thick sweater, cozy vibes, it's freezing outside. And I'm going to go to a part of Manhattan that is very windy. I love to torture myself.
sleepy i'm tired i had to run for the bus and i literally felt sick afterwards because it was so cold and i ran far too far so i got my books that i wanted to get um i started making a list of books that i want to buy to own to read physically 
uh, what? Like, not every book that I read I need to own. So I was making a list of books that I want to buy relatively soon. I feel like about half of them that are on this list at present I want the UK editions of because UK editions are just, there's something about a UK paperback. It's just, I don't know, it's so much more satisfying to me. Anyways, I think I'm going to order some of those. I want Bunny, mostly because it's they have the, like, hot neon pink, whereas in America we have, like, just regular neon pink. I started reading that a while ago, but I never really got into it, um, or I gave it much of a chance to, like, read it. Anyways, if we were villains that I want, um, the UK, I don't really like the American version, and I'm already reluctant to read that anyways, so I feel like I need a prettier cover <laughs> in order to in order to entice me. Pyrenees, because the American has this like the like weird you know like this thing where it's like cut weirdly. I didn't realize Cersei had that too. So now I just have this. But anyways, yeah. So those are the books. Anyways, I got Cersei from um McNally Jackson. I don't read mythology all that often. Every other like 10th book um, might be a mythology. It's just there's something about mythology for me, Greek or otherwise, that I feel like they, they need to be spaced out in my reading. I just can't really read them back to back. It's either that they're, they have this like certain like vibe, certain tone, but right now, beginning of the year, I don't know what my time frame here was, but I wanted to read either Circe or Ariadne. I, th I don't know why I chose Cersei. I d it just happened that way. I literally have a physical copy of Ariadne on my shelf somewhere. I think it's up top. So I could, I should have, I don't know why I started Cersei instead of Ariadne. It just happened this way. Uh, oh, I just dug my nail into the pages. I also got the audiobook in from my library. I thought it was going to take a lot longer um, to get it in. So I started reading it. I'm um, about just 45 pages in. Very fast. The thing with mythology as well for me, I, I read The Song of Achilles last year. I finished it last year. I actually started it back in 2017, but I restarted it and finished it. And I really enjoyed it really very much. And that was when I realized like, oh, mythology, I need to like space out. Because I feel like it's just like a... Uh, an undertaking i don't know something about it if you get the vibe you if you know you know yeah that's why after reading the song achilles i was like okay ariadne cersei yeah the vibe with those books back to my point the vibe with this is that i feel like i can't put it down because the second i do it feel like it's hard for me to pick it up again it feels like a in one sitting kind of read uh, it's just the way my brain works. I don't know. I can't explain it, but if you know, you know. Okay, the other book that I wanted to get for sure today, but then McNally Jackson had three editions and I couldn't decide, but I ended up going with this one um, of Frankenstein, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I feel like this is something that I should read. I'm not like a big horror fan, but I was reading horror labeled books but they weren't like horror to me so i was like maybe i should delve a little bit more into horror because i think that there's a lot of overlap with fantasy that might be naive of me to say i don't know but i don't feel like this would be too scary i don't know i have no clue i love this edition i think it's a penguin um edition puffin books imprint of random house i haven't seen this cover before so very gorgeous i love it very much i originally wanted a paperback but so that i could annotate it and stuff um i can still annotate a hardback but i wanted the like little tiny okay whatever got this one i also feel like the formatting um in comparison to the little tiny paperback this formatting looks easier to read which i don't normally take notice of but since there were so many options i did Anyways, so I'm going to do some work on my computer and then read Cersei and try not to take a nap so that I can fix my sleep schedule and go to sleep at a normal human time.
she's been on a rough journey um, running for the train for the bus. <laughs>
editing, but I'm procrastinating editing. This video, it's Sunday today, and it, normally I post videos on Sunday, but I just, there's something about this video that I don't like. Uh, I don't know what it is, if it's just can't find the right music, or the footage, I don't, like, it's a little too shaky, because I tried to film outside with my DSLR, and it doesn't really have good stabilization. It's just something about it, and I also feel like imposter syndrome, and <sighs> I don't know. I did want to talk to you guys about Cersei because I finished it yesterday. Uh, I really powered through this because, like I said, with mythology type books like this, um, it's best if I just sit and read it in one setting, sitting, one sitting, more or less. And yeah, I did some tabbing as well because I figured this was going to be a really beautiful book, and it was, of course. The Song of Achilles, because she also wrote that, is more of like a tragedy, and I just love like modern writing of greek tragedies just it explores theme like societal themes so well and this one really did and i really loved it it's a lot more slow and meandering which i just i appreciate that's the kind of book i love i also couldn't really remember the myth of circe that well so it was nice to kind of not really know what was coming so yeah, I enjoyed this. I also realized uh, as well, Ariadne is not by Madeline Miller. I don't know why I thought it was. I don't know what I'm going to read next. I feel like I want to read something that I already own. Um, so I'm thinking maybe Gideon the Ninth because my friend Jenna um, gave them to me because she had extra copies. Maybe The Cursed and the Broken or The Legend of the Huntress. Those are romance fantasies. And I still have yet to finish Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which I was trying to finish before the end of last year, but I never did that. So um, we'll see what I'm going to read next, but I am just trying to edit and I just don't want to do it. It's just not... <sighs> I also really wish I could get a new camera. So I'm just going to... I'm going to work out. I'm going to do some math and try and figure out what I can do with my shop in order to make money, in order to get a new camera, in order to film new videos. So wish me luck. <laughs> Bye from my shop, Kellen Girls the Shop. Yeah, so pretty successful. Bought a book and read it. Good job, me. Didn't just buy it and put it on my shelf and forget about it. So <laughs> hold your applause, hold your applause. Okay, goodbye. I'm gonna get back to editing, but I feel like I may, might want to go to bakery because I followed this bakery on Instagram and they were like, mm, we have these in bakery uh, today. So I'm like, oh, that might actually be a nice little treat for when I finish um, my video. But I literally can't finish this video and the bakery's going to close in like an hour. So 